All right, so another video where I want to do something different. Yes, another reaction. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just getting these out the way. I'm, I'm back to back to back to back to back. Getting these out the way. So um, today we're going to be watching Death Battle. Now, we all know what Death Battle is. Even niggas who don't even like comics and all that. Y'all know what Death Battle is. Come on. So we're watching Death Battle. Omni-Man versus Homelander. I got Omni-Man. Homewrecker, he, man, he gonna get fucking destroyed. Usually when I try to like bet on these or try to like, if I go for somebody, they end up dying. There was, it was Sindel versus Black Canary. I thought Sindel was gonna watch Black Canary, but clear, but I didn't even know Sindel was weaker than Black Canary. I'm like, what? She been alive for thousands of years and she, that's why I was like, bro, there's no way that she would have lost it. Come on. And she's more vicious too, but whatever, so. I'm going for Omni Man, so if, if Omni Man loses, y'all know why. Cause I bet on Omni Man. I don't know why every time I choose somebody to win, they end up losing. So let's just get straight into it. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored. No, skip the sponsor. Omni Man, the invincible champion for yes, Planet Viltra. Homelander, Viltra the world's greatest superhero. Brought to you by Vought International. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen Invincible, but I've never seen the boys at all. I've, I've seen comics explain, read some comics on it, but. Other than that, I don't really know much about the boys. I know who Homelander is. I know he's a fucking douchebag. Uh, other than that, I don't know anything about the boys. I don't know any of the superheroes besides Homelander. That's the only nigga I know. He's literally the only character I know in that entire show. So, and I think I saw a scene in the show where, like, they were on an airplane and they had to let the people die in the airplane. They didn't save anybody, not even a little girl. But that was some cold-blooded shit, so. Few heroes have stood the test of time with more aplomb than the very first, Superman. But mm -hmm. what if absolute power did, in fact, corrupt absolutely? Okay. Answer, we're all screwed. He's whiz yeah. and I'm boomstick. Superman and it's our job to analyze their weapons, strong for armor, no and skills to find out who would win a death battle. I don't know, should I skip the, the analysis? Nah, we're going to watch it. We're going to watch it. We're going to watch it. Because I, I want to make this short, but fuck, we got to watch it. I, I don't, I don't, don't want to watch the whole thing in, in its entirety, but whatever. We'll watch it. We'll watch it. Look, just in case the sky. if y'all don't know it's about the bird. character, it's a plane. I don't know about oh, Homelander. It's so. Omni Man. Okay. <laughs> Had you go I guess. there for a second, huh? Uh, not Yo, them really. niggas got watched. Is the title of the video. Well, the damn superhero be group. For mistaking Nolan Grayson for his classic comic inspiration. Of course. He's even got that sexy mustache that he's not afraid to hide with terrible CGI. <laughs> Born on the planet Viltrum, Nolan was Nolan sent Grayson. to Earth to act I, as its superpowered bro. alien defender and spread the enlightenment of his utopian homeworld. And as his he got superhero some, alter bro. ego Omni Man, there was no one really wants his son to, the to think. Task. He saved the world countless times, worked alongside the Guardians of the Globe, and even married. Married and had a son. I'm not, I'm not trying to brag when I say this, but I also watch comments explain, read the entire Invincible shit. So honestly, I feel like the show is behind in the comics because, like, obviously it just started. But it's like I, I'm so far ahead in with the comics. I'm just, I'm like, bro, why haven't they made more yet? Like, they're taking a long time to do that shit. I know it takes time, but damn, dude, come on, Mark. I'm ready. Life couldn't be better. And I've seen until it too. Mark inherited his dad's Viltramite power. That nigga got strong. That's when Mark found out that his dad was a stinking rat bastard liar. Yeah. Turns out Viltrum wasn't exactly the peaceful utopia Nolan promised. Yeah. Peaceful in the sense that they culled half their Shit. population, murdering billions with their bare hands until only the strongest were left, united by Crazy. a common purpose. This Viltrumite Empire then went on to conquer planet after planet in their home galaxy, murdering any who dared oppose them. They started breeding so with other people and shit. that whole peaceful part entirely. Yeah. And turns out Omni-Man was here to do that the whole same race. thing to Earth. Sorry, Mark. Your dad's a Damn. dick. Damn. Even worse, I remember that. he's easily the most powerful being on the entire planet. Imagine yeah. combining the raw power of a Kryptonian and the bloodlust of a Saiyan. And what you get is basically a Viltrumite. Due to their unique S nigga DNA, is vicious. Viltrumites are composed of smart atoms that they can manipulate to achieve superhuman feats, like holding their breath for weeks on end by drawing more energy from the oxygen inside them. For it reminds me of that whole bioelectric. So that's why they can breathe out of space, has. or they can't that's really breathe out of space. Comic writers bullshit a science <laughs> So that's why they can survive out of space. Except smart okay. atoms make even less sense. How can atomic structure be designated by your DNA? DNA is made of atoms. It's completely yeah. nonsensical biological hogwash yeah. that I cannot stand. Uh oh, comics fans. Oh, I'm calling this debunk. 
So, Vilgermite's can fly, it's just a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo, basically. Zero temperatures and even possess insane healing factors. He got his ass you know, beat too. Like getting punched through the stomach, having your guts ripped Shit. out, or having your face smashed up in a tomato soup. I don't mean to exaggerate. He did but something Vilgermite's dirty. Vilgermite's in this series get fucked up and yes. somehow survive. However, they're too literally much like Super Saiyans, bro. Can overtax their healing factors, and intense heat can be especially damaging. Even the most powerful Viltrumites can be killed by extended baths in the spicy hot plasma of a star. Yeah. And because of their abilities, their inner ear vestibular system is far more sensitive than a regular human. Sheesh. Intense sonic pressure will disrupt oh, yeah. their fragile equilibrium yeah. and even prevent them from that. flying. Though pushing them, I know I keep saying, I keep, I keep saying that shit. Yep, I remember that. Yep, 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 yep. But it's like. I'm sorry, I just do. I just remember that. I just and watch comics explain, then you'll understand why. The limits only ends up making them way stronger. And considering Nolan has been alive and planet conquering for thousands he watched of years, the fuck he's out of them. easily one of the toughest filtermites around. I remember watching like CJ the Tim talk about that too. Him will literally splatter their bodies against him. But Mark didn't inherit everything from his dad. Aww. Despite his alien genes, Mark was raised as a human with our weak, pathetic human values like yeah. love and compassion <laughs> and not brutally murdering the yeah. shit out of everyone you see Jesus. like a maniac. Really made it he difficult took everybody to in that relate station. to his kid. Such as when these aliens invaded Earth. Mark tried his best to minimize casualties and outsmart his numerically superior foes. Nolan, meanwhile, tackled their leader through the portal back to their homeworld, yeah. then spent some time systematically Ooh. annihilating their planet for even he daring to take up. Earth from him. Classic generational divide. Annihilate is Shit. underselling it. Nolan yeah. flew so fast that his body lit their planet's atmosphere on fire, creating massive country-sized explosions Fuck. with his own body as the projectile. Omni-Man has flown across galaxies in only a week, survived Damn. punching a hole through a planet, and even deflected a meteor the size of Texas. Assuming that means the diameter of the meteor is equivalent to the distance from the top of the panhandle. See, here come all this math bullshit. I don't know, n bro. <laughs> I don't know where they get these measurements and shit. I don't know who created it, but th this shit is crazy. They talk about kilotons and all type of crazy shit. I don't know where the fuck this shit come from. Just, I, I'm, a, I, I'm not gonna say nothing, but just know I'm, I'm trying to, I'm just staying back. I don't know nothing about this. The Gulf of Mexico, that would make it 1,300 kilometers wide. Sure. And weigh over 4.6 quintillion tons. What is quintillion? What, what, who, cre who created that? Who? How do y'all know that? Who, who taught y'all that? Where did y'all learn this? Did, did y'all go to Harvard or some shit? How do y'all know this? Is this just like an easy Google search? Like, oh, what's the highest number? To, whatever, I'm talking too much, whatever. Moving at re yeah, I don't speeds care. of over 11,000 meters per second, it had hit with enough energy to destroy the moon twice over. So Omni-Man is strong enough to slaughter those who consider Damn. him an ally. You know what's funny? You would think since I played so much Mortal Kombat, I wouldn't be as like, uh, uh, but it's like, dog, it's a superhero show. I don't expect that from a superhero show. It's different. Mortal Kombat, you expect crazy shit to happen. You expect that. The Guardians of the Globe. All Damn. to ensure as seamless a transition to the coming Viltrumite rule as possible. Too bad for Nolan, it wouldn't be that easy because he'd have to go through his son first. Yeah. Mark was horrified by his father's treachery. That's crazy. On by the reveal that Nolan only viewed his mother as a pet. That, that was crazy when he said that. When he said that shit, bro. Fought Omni -Man my God. To save the planet. That was ruthless as fuck. And that's when Mark's real Viltrumite training began. Get it? <clears throat> training? Like the train? Yes, we get it. It we was a good it, pun. Jesus. But if Shit. anything, it was Omni-Man that learned a lesson about humanity that day. He yeah. may have tried to turn Mark into a Viltrumite. Oh my God, reality, his son couldn't even Nolan breathe, bro. fled Earth with tears in his eyes, Mark made his father human. That's crazy. I like that transition too. This is what I don't know about. This is the dude I don't know nothing about. Bot International, uh, a multi-billion-dollar American conglomerate who's no. Oh, and I, I think I think what's the name? Uh, John Con Constilio, the dude from Breaking Bad. I think he's on here. The dude from Far Cry Six, or I think it was Seven. I don't know. I think I'm saying his name wrong. John Con Con Constilio. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. The dude from you, you know what I'm saying. Number one products are the greatest. I think he's on the show on too. The face of the earth. That's right. Superheroes are real and they're big business. This, Imagine the a superheroes company look that weird. possesses a monopoly no, on popular culture, pumping out movies, TV shows, action figures, and video games constantly. That might Browning actually happen. If, the, if we were to ever have superheroes, that would actually happen, bro. No end in sight. They would be yeah. so fucking Imagine. like profitable, bro. Within Vought's pantheon of gods among men is their premier super team, the Seven, and its leader, Homelander. He's uh, got the look, the charm, 
the Jesus, and most importantly, he baptized he's got the power to slaughter all of America's enemies at home and abroad. Whoa. This guy probably eats freedom and shits eagles. <laughs> but Homelander's squeaky clean corporate sheen is only skin deep. Yes, Far facade. from the big blue boy scout he's what marketed as, Homelander is probably the closest thing to Lucifer on Earth. Damn. Remember bad future Biff from Back to the Future? Now give him superpowers and media training. Oh, Fuck's shit. official story is that Homelander was an alien who landed here as a baby, a tale we're all familiar with. And yep. one that's total bullshit, Homie was made in a lab with Don's proprietary super soldier serum. Compound V. That must have traumatized and he was him. a complete success. Too much of a success. He was murdering rooms of terrified oh, scientists shit. before his umbilical cord was even cut. In the comics, Vaught had to keep a remote-controlled hydrogen bomb strapped to him at all times because they had no idea what else could possibly kill him. As he grew up, he was subjected to psychological conditioning to make him the greatest and most profitable Is he hero of all too? time. It wasn't long before he debuted as Homelander, the ultimate defender of the American dream. Homelander Who is he defending against, though? Superhuman strength, speed, and I don't see him the, like, fighting any bad guys besides that one clip. walls with x-ray vision and detect a person's emotional state from just the sound of their <clears throat> heartbeat. But you know you're done for when he breaks yeah, out his scene. speed vision, which is strong enough to slice through crowds of people or wow. split airplanes he just up kill people. or scream so loud that it shatters the eardrums of anyone around him. Those are innocent bystanders whose ears are exploding, by the way. Oh yeah, he totally botched this mission to stop a plane hijacking, so he forced each and everyone on board to die in the resulting crash Damn. so they wouldn't reveal his incompetence. Well, Homelander's powers may be real, this but his crazy. heroism is a charade. Yeah. Though he plays his part well, he cares nothing for the peons he's forced to protect. The only thing he treasures Damn. is, ironically, his public image. Turns out being raised as a lab experiment doesn't create a healthy person. Yeah. But don't worry. He eventually cleaned up his act and started a totally 100% healthy sexual relationship with a fellow superhero who just happened to be an actual Nazi. Okay. Speaking of sex, wow. Wiz, you know how I'm always saying we should figure out how Superman and Lois uh, get busy? Well, forget that, because Homelander proved that they can't when his ejaculation blew his partner to smithereens. Who drew that? Look, there's no way to sugarcoat this, considering the uh... humans load has much less mass than a shotgun pellet, it would have to be moving significantly faster to achieve the same kinetic energy. Over 1,500 meters... So the sex killed her. Okay. I mean, it's, we're not strangers to it, because we all wonder how Superman and Lois Lane... He just... We all wonder that. Like, come on. we Like, come on, bro. And you know, you know how, like, Batman and Wonder Woman kind of had a thing in the animated show? People were like, oh, that would never work. It probably wouldn't. Let's be real. I want it to work, but it probably wouldn't work. Meters per second, or 4.5 <laughs> times faster than sound. That's right. Homelander can bust a nut faster than the speed of sound. Uh, well, good night, everybody. Ooh, kind of sucks for humanity that oh, they saw made this dude too. the most powerful being on the planet and a psycho murderer. That's no exaggeration. Stillwell even commented that Homelander has proven immune to every weapon known to mankind. Really? No matter so how he's literally like Superman. Humanity literally lacks the ability to kill him. So he's like Superman, but with no kryptonite. Gotcha. That would include nuclear weapons as powerful as the Tsar bomb, which exploded with the energy of 50 megatons of TNT. Actually, it could have exploded with twice that, but the mm. Soviets who created it were afraid it would irreversibly alter Earth's biosphere and end the world. Damn. That's right, we all almost died. And that's the Damn. kind of shit Homeland We still might if they end up doing it for real. They can shrug off no problem. He's strong enough or to make throw stronger. a jet with one hand and fast enough to outspeed a C4 explosion. Despite being an emotionally stunted man-child, Homelander is still surprisingly cunning and able to manipulate those around him. Though it mm. probably wasn't too smart to piss off the world's angriest limey, Billy Butcher. Who is Billy Butcher? Yeah, turns out forcibly fathering a bastard son with someone else's wife is not a good idea. Of note, as unjustifiable as it is, to Homelander, this gave him something he never had before. Care? Some small Compassion? measure of control over his own life. Being born so he has a son? star pupil meant he was under their thumb from the day he was born. His superpowered son was the first thing that was truly his and might be his best option for a new beginning. Damn. Or not. He killed him? He killed him? I, I, I would look it up, but I don't want to spoil it. I don't know, because I never know if I'm going to watch. I, I could be spoiling for myself. I don't know. 
I'm st I'm still watching though. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. All right, here we go. It's time for a death battle. I got Omni Man, Omni Man, all day. Also, Homeland is gonna be coming to Omni Man. Got you. Okay, nice anime. Oh shit. Howdy, neighbor. Coco. Uh, no. It's warm. No. Or fuck you in my house. You know, Nolan, Homelander is more than just a superhero. It might be cynical to say this, but he's a, a brand. Okay. It's very important to me that that brand means oh, something. Oh, he's trying to fight Omni Man to I'm increase his brand? Fiddle to some goddamn alien. <laughs> What's really the point, right? What do you think, Debbie? Wow, he killed his wife. Oh, she's shy. So, do we have an understanding? Get the fuck out of my country. Oh, what the fuck? <sighs> I mean, that was just a pet I'm toy. going to feed you your own heart. <laughs> Shit. That was a great life. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh damn. Oh. Nice music. Country. Seriously? I'm not here for your country. Here for the world. <laughs> shit, making me concrete. This shit vicious. Oh. Can Homelander breathe in outer space? Oh shit. He doing the same thing? Ah. Uh, yeah, he don't care about that. He's not gonna try to stop it. Never been hit by someone your own size before? Yeah, nigga. You have to turn with the punch to reduce. Mm. Bitch. Got his ass. Better. Bitch. Power driver, home. Damn. That nigga was screaming for his life, wasn't he? Stop it! I forgot about that. He could just scream, bruh. Yeah, you look like a bitch. What's the matter? Are you going to cry? Oh shit. This nigga vicious. Oh, don't tell me that's Don't tell me that's why he loses, cause he's screaming a lot. Come on. Oh, come on. Shit. Nigga, nigga, eat that shit, boy. What I promised you. Nigga. Nigga, eat that. Nigga. Now swallow. Nigga. <gasps> Finally, I won one. Merry more. Christmas, bitch boy. Nickel, you talking to? KO, Wiz. I swear, cause like I, I, for a minute I thought he was gonna lose. I'm like, I, I, not lost. I thought for a minute I thought he was gonna lose, cause they always bring up some bullshit like, oh, he's vulnerable to sound. That's why he lose. Like, come on. You mean to tell me that one weakness is why he will lose? I mean, he could have lost, but come on. There's a god. It sure seems like he was working out some aggression there. Yeah. Despite Homelander's dominance within the world of the boys, he's a big fish in a small pond, relatively speaking. Homelander Most can move faster than sound, while well, Omni-Man can move faster. Ah, so, yeah, because I guess Omni-Man does have like, more experience. Homelander, I don't know. So I guess Homelander isn't used to fighting people his own size. Because in the comments, this nigga literally fights his own race to survive. Niggas that are equally strong as him. So he's he's used to fighting himself in a way. ...than light. Homelander can survive a nuke while Omni-Man can shatter the moon twice over. Mm. To be fair, Homelander did have a couple of abilities Omni-Man yeah. didn't, like his heat vision. And while Viltrumite healing factors have failed against continuous exposure to the heat of stars, that still took quite a bit of time. And there's no reason to think Homelander's heat vision was anywhere near that hot. Yeah. Hell, Nolan's tanked heat vision from the superhero Mean Supreme before, mm. who can vaporize people in an instant. Mm. Even if it was hot enough, Omni-Man's superior speed would cut him off before he could do any lasting damage. Mm. Similarly, despite being able to disrupt his equilibrium with his supersonic screaming, Homelander wasn't strong enough to capitalize on it in any meaningful way. Plus, he, probably, he probably didn't even know for real. 
if he knew how to like really like use it, if he had prep time, he probably would have did more with it. Well, Homelander, he would he would he probably would have started off screaming and shit like a bitch. Pretty devious when the situation calls for it. Omni Man has been fighting and conquering worlds for thousands of years. He comes from a warrior culture based yeah, on he's fighting. Used to that. Homelander, on the other hand, comes from a test tube and never had to push himself as a fighter because yeah. he was always so much stronger than everyone else. And yeah. that's the key difference between them. One no is a experience. warrior, and the other is a bully. Yeah. Homelander was never going to give up easy, but Omni-Man's skill, power, and Viltrumite heritage earned him the win. When it comes to Superman Bitch knockoffs, niggas. Homelander had to eat his heart out. Nigga, the winner is that. Omni-Man. Big boy, big body, big back. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a like for them. Uh, damn, this shit got me a million, almost two million views already. But shit, I mean, no, everyone wants to see this shit. Anyway, with that being said, go ahead and fade the black, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, hit the bell, do all that good stuff. You already know how we do. We out of here. You know, hey, man, hope y'all enjoyed it. Yeah, man. We out of here, bro. Peace out.